Hello YouTube, it's your boy Vintage Sterling Finds, back for another watch and watch bag videos. Thanks to everyone that's watching. Um, if you like the content, please like, subscribe. I love reading all the comments and talking with you guys about everything. And um, everything you see for sale today is for sale on my Etsy, link in the description. Um, so sit back, relax, enjoy. Let's get into the video. First thrift store. We found two watches. This is an old or swatch irony from the 90s. Now, as you can see, I changed the battery, paid four bucks. Oh, now it works, but the issue on this is it don't. It doesn't like to turn. See, usually when you push it in, it runs for a couple minutes and stops. So something is, um, yeah, something on the in or with this is messed up. And on these, you can't open to get into them. So I'll probably sell this for a parts watch for a couple bucks. At that same thrift store, I found this. This is an older Casio Illuminator worn watch. Nice rubber strap. Um, Plastic, steel, does have the, um, you guys can see that, let's see if I, yeah, you can kind of see the light does, yeah, you can see a little bit of light, but still, these on Etsy sell very quickly, good find. Also, yesterday, I picked this up in my town for five bucks, it's a Vestal, now, well-made watch, Heavy watch, crown's on the wrong side. The diameter of this guy, about 50 millimeters. And the thickness is around 12. Now, this watch, I'm fighting with a little bit because as you can see, um, it's having an issue with the battery. So it's kind of, I like this. It's quite easy to remove the battery. It just pops out. Now, I, it ran, then it stopped. Now the movement is quite cheap on this watch. So like if I press in the battery, there we go. It runs. But then if I take my finger off the battery, it stops. I think I can figure this out. Not a big deal. So I just put the battery back, and now the watch is running fine. So I think it's just a mild issue. Watch is in pretty good shape. So still, for five bucks, this is a steal of a watch. Now, I was with Jordan today, and we did a little bit of thrifting. First thrift store we hit up, I got this old mechanical wine Seiko. Bring it to the air. Runs like a hot dam. Good condition. Not many scratches. Little bit of fading. Safety chain. $9.99. Uh, that thrift store, I get 15% off. So with tax, it was like $9.10. These watches will sell on Etsy all day long for probably $50, $60. This is a nice little watch. Now, we went to another part of town and they had a um, other thrift store. Now, you guys know I love old tobacco pipes. Straighten this up. This is a York Mono Pole Brayer. I love just this old school, that kind of look. Pipes and good, a couple scuffs, but I think that'll just, I think it's like a price tag or something. I paid $10. Um, that just rubs off. A little bit expensive, but these sell on Etsy quite quick. So that's not a bad little find. Also, we picked up some lighters. Now this lighter, I didn't realize it at the time is broken. It kind of opens, kind of not. Old Fisher. So, 
I mean, it does work, but I think this and it popped back up there, and I don't know, maybe just a parts lighter. Now, the real lighter is this. I saw this and had to buy it. Ronson. Look at that. And it's in almost mint condition. Couple scuffs here and there. But for five, oh, sorry, for the hiccups, five bucks, that's a steal. I think that's VRW. But I thought just what a cool piece. I think it does need a flint. Yeah, it needs a flint. I think that's to fill it right there. I think, yeah, that would be to change the flint. But I mean, look at that. And even, you know, for a stoner, imagine pulling up to 420 with this, opening it up for the joints, pass them around, lighting that for your friend. Just wow, the presentation. You'd be the coolest guy there. Next up, we have this. Now I'm a huge Iron Man fan. I literally just picked these up like an hour ago. Little bit of a cleaning, but look at the strap. It's called Sugar Foot. It's an aftermarket strap. It just clicks. But that screams 90s to me. Uh, so, um, there's two other watches I got, but all in all, these were $2 each. And you can adjust it here, push it through, pull it, little rubber band. But I thought, wow, that that's a cool thing for somebody that's maybe into First Nations designs or just likes a really cool retro Iron Man. That's neat. Next, I got an Esprit. Esprit? I think it's Esprit. Esprit. A sprit. Um, nice leather strap. Decent condition. These watches sell on Etsy pretty good. Um, again, two bucks. Nothing super, super special, but not bad. Last watch I got out of that box. Another one. Nice looking. Uh, strap's a little bit not great condition, but I think I like kind of the worn look. And not a bad little watch. I always make sure these are in good shape. It's flexible. You always want to make sure, you know, you can spin the hands. Yeah, but see, this one is a little bit. I might change the strap. I'll see, because it's one of those things. Yeah, it's giving a bit, a lot of um, dirt. So what I do usually is I change the strap, but then I give the original one. So if somebody wants that original strap, they can have it. Now, let's jump into the watch bag. Here's the watch bag, $12.99. I had a coupon, so I think I got 20% off. Value Village usually is not the best. I'm more into Salvation Army. Ooh, first one, Caravel by Bulova. I liked it, but I didn't realize it was cracked like that. Damn. Uh, I think that one's just a bit too rough. Next up, we have a carriage. That's not a bad little watch. Um, change the strap. I mean, that one's... Oh, I have it too. Okay. Not a bad little watch. What's this one? This is a... Okay, a Burks. Burks is like the Canadian Tiffany's. Uh, the strap's a bit messed up. Just needs a cleaning. Now, I don't know why that's so hazy. That's glass, does it? I've never seen one that hazy. I'll see if I can just buff that out. Next up, we have a no-name China watch. Then we have a Eternity, but again, smashed. Strap's not bad on that one. What's this? Betty Johnson? Missing some of the diamonds and... I mean, this one's... Yeah, some messy ass paint chips. This is a... I don't know. Crack screen. Yeah, the Value Village bags are never that great. 
broken Fitbit. Now the reason I bought this was for this. I don't even know what this is. Looks like Soviet. Let's open this up. Okay. Some sort of Soviet watch. Is this, is this automatic? Maybe not. Let's, because this stems down here. So we can turn the, can we wind it? Let's open the back. I don't even know if this is a mechanical, automatic, quartz, do not know. So we went in doubt, open the back. We can just kinda, I feel like that strap's not original, doesn't look right. Okay, it's a quartz. Okay, let me change the battery. Let's see if this works. So I changed the battery and nothing. There is some corrosion inside. I mean, I will try to play around with it a little bit, but I don't think this is a really expensive watch. Kind of a shame because I have a buyer for an old Soviet automatic watch working or not. So when I saw this, I thought it was an automatic. I still might message my friend and see if they want it. But um, for the around $10 I paid for the bag, the only other thing is probably going to be this Burks watch that I'll have to polish the um, front. So not the best watch bag. But um, on a positive note, the Vestal is still working. So um, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.